Black Lives Matter apartheid comes to Europe and Europe's 9-11 Pearl Harbor moment. I have been meaning to write about this for the past two weeks. I had an insight that ties Black Lives Matter into events that are going to play out in South Africa based off of the dream visions I have had. All of the dream visions discussed in this video can be found in the description. I want to ask you, what do Black Lives Matter have in common with Pearl Harbor and 9-11s? If you know the answer to this question then you can quickly see where and how this ties in with South Africa. Let me shed light on the insight I had about Black Lives Matter and where this ties into South Africa. BLM is nothing more than a tool in order to move the whites worldwide. It is the Great White Awakening, it is having the opposite effect on whites and this is no accident. It is done on purpose. It is done in such a way as to make your average white person so tired of the racial tension that they rebel and reject it totally which is coming. You see with the events that are going to play out in South Africa, you cannot simply get your population to go along with the ride if you do not move or prepare them in some way. Let me show you how they move populations for key events. When you see it, when the light bulb goes off, everything but everything falls into place. See you cannot move 300 million or more whites, Europeans to back your new plans unless you whip them into shape. You cannot enforce whites to feel guilty for 40 years and then in one night rush in to save millions of whites. First of all that will fly in the face of all your conditioning and the host population who had been guilt tripped into their rainbow nation would never have accepted it. Welcome to Black Lives Matter. The fastest way to shift your white population for the coming global white revolt. In order for the US to get involved in Southern Africa, they need a reason. They need their population behind them and most importantly they need the persecutor to call out. If they got involved in South Africa prior to this both the whites in South Africa and America would had much to say. Thank Black Lives Matter for pushing the pendulum so far left that the right fill in the gap. Within this vacuum when the call is made about and for the white plight in South Africa, then those jets will arrive. I mentioned in the dream visions I had and in one of the visions. A Chinese-led revolution will be fought in the northern part of our territory by the American stingers shown to me in 2018. Then I saw those jets arrive and land on our highways. When will they happen? I have no idea, I saw it was when the revolution was encircling the people. Black Lives Matters is pushing the whites to the point of exhaustion of cultural Marxism, where they will get tired of the race issue and it will no longer guilt trip the whites. The pressure valve will be South Africa where all the focus will go. In will be the moment when the US under Trump look our way to assist us and they will have the full support of the Western world albeit minus. A few snowflake liberals but the rest of the white European populations around the world will have woken up and shaken off their media induced guilt trips. The sin of being white is coming to an end and the new scapegoats are going to be the same old cliche yet through black sheep. Thanks to Black Lives Matter but the real black sheep being targeted in this will be in South Africa for the support of the whites. Black Lives Matter is to induce revere psychology and desensitize the whites to the point where racism is overused and no longer controls the Europeans or whites. This is the moment the seer, that is seer Van Rensburg spoke about when the West looks our way, when Europe looks our way. That period is now. Watch and see how the West turn around and say the new South Africa, the dream of Mandela is not what the ANC are all about. It's coming. These elites, this clique of individuals plan things so far advanced, most people are like sheep walking in a maze not being able to see out of the maze. The moving of Europeans, the endless race guilt tripping will end and the pressure valve to release this tension is South Africa and the whites here. Do not for one minute think they are our friends or coming to rescue us. The very situation we find ourselves in under the ANC is due to the West. Never thank them. The West has blood on their hands for what they did to Europe's territories in Africa, European nations have more claim to many parts of these African countries than even Africans. When the Europeans built up these countries in the 14th and 15th centuries, there were not even 80,000 Africans in Southern Africa let alone each one of their colonies. I am going to tie in a lot of what I have seen in those dream visions into current world events. I mentioned in January I saw Turkey going into full war mode with that dream vision. Turkey made it clear in the video that they will no longer sit on the sidelines and not do anything. Sometimes it's not what is said but what is not said that tells you more about what was said than what was said. 
Turkey declared war for those of you who were deaf. I told you they would declare war and they were gearing up for war in January 2020 with the dream vision I had about them. Today we have seen a new war unleashed in Lebanon which is why I am writing this. That weapons manufacturing plant was blown up with a weapon we have not seen used before. Turkey a few days ago said they would work with their partners and I told you from another dream vision Turkey will pave over all the roads America paved. That is Turkey is going to go after and reclaim all its former Ottoman Empire territory and there is nothing America will be able to do about it. This is divine, this is part of Yahweh's plan for the Turk and our future Boer Republic. I mentioned in a previous dream vision I had that apartheid would come to Europe but that in Europe they would not call it that but that you would need passes to get on trains and public transport. It's online, none of those videos have been edited. All those of you who have seen those videos will know they have been up and stayed up and have never been edited from day one. I told you last year a flight will go down, flight down in Iran and then apartheid comes to Europe. This Covid thing going on is for this moment in Europe. I said in previous videos we're on the cusp of World War 3 and this is the start Seer Van Rensburg told us the Turk would satellite those haystacks. I was shown in the dream vision in January 2020 they are now going into full war mode and then right from President Erdogan's mouth he said they will pave new roads. Just as shown to me in the dream vision. Now connect the dots. Erdogan makes his speech just a few days ago, nothing mentioned about this speech in the mainstream media and then voila, a massive, huge explosion takes place in Lebanon. Now connect the dots, do you think that happened out of nowhere? What did President Erdogan of Turkey say in the speech? I told you, it is not what is said that is important but what is not said that speaks the loudest. Where did those arms cashments come from? What will be the reprisal of this huge attack? I told you, I saw a massive huge 9-11 Pearl Harbor event take place in Europe. I saw how attacks would go off one after the other in Europe. I even told you who would be behind these attacks and did I not just include Erdogan's words from this video? Did I also not tell you that when this happens, the mainstream media will collapse and that the focus will be on South Africa? America will take control of their media outlets and shine like a laser, as bright as the sun on South Africa. South Africa will be the focus and it will be covered from every angle. I told you, I saw the ANC throw Cyril and turn their backs on him. I told you, he was and will be so afraid to face the world and that the country will be in such a state that I had no words like some massive rubbish dumb. I saw the extent of the damage these parasites did to the economy. Now you can connect the dots to the COVID identification cards coming. Most will say it's for chips etc etc. I know, when everyone is thinking one way, you should more than likely think the opposite to find the truth. Most of the well-known conspiracy personalities you listen to are nothing more than government agents dropping breadcrumbs to make sure that those who can somewhat think for themselves are given just that little crumbs. Covid is for apartheid being introduced in Europe. Black Lives Matter is there to push the liberals conservatives to the right for events about to unfold. A war is being waged in the Middle East against Lebanon, Syria and in Libya. That war is going to find its way into Europe. This is why they bring apartheid to Europe but it will not be called apartheid as I told you from the dream vision. This is to try prevent this 9-11 Pearl Harbor event taking place in Europe but I saw nothing will stop it. Hungary will manage to have the tightest controls in Europe as shown to me. When the migrants are being openly shot at in Eastern Europe, the Germans arrive in South Africa. I was shown that it will be a hot month when this takes place. The controls of Covid and lockdowns also has to do with Brexit. The City of London is an entirely separate country from the UK it is its own jurisdiction with its own rules and laws. Not even the Queen or other royals can just show up to enter it. The entire Brexit debacle comes down to the City of London not being able to access the European financial markets. This will result in less revenue and so welcome Mr IMF arm branch of their realm. Through the IMF the countries are allowed to stay in lockdown and will be bailed out. Perfect recipe and compliments to corruption installed by the money changes throughout the world. The good people suffer while the corrupt politicians get fatter and fatter, the seer told us that we will not owe a penny's worth of debt in the end and for you organizations. For you people who have been waiting for these moments for years and for others decades, the time is upon us now. We can see we have nothing to do 